An assault rifle left within reach of children has some Dayton residents angry with police. Yeah, Dayton, Kentucky officer left this weapon leaning against a car as a domestic violence situation was just wrapping up. As Local 12's Joe Webb shows us, the incident was caught on camera and took off on social media. Wednesday afternoon, a domestic call with shots fired brought Dayton and Bellevue police to 5th Street in Dayton. No one was injured, but this video taken by Matt Haas and posted on Facebook has created a stir. That's a police assault rifle leaning against that car, unattended, and a 10-year-old girl walking right by it on her way home from school. A few seconds later, a Dayton police officer retrieves it, but the image struck a nerve. It was scary, like I said. Um, anybody could have walked past and picked it up. And, uh, I don't know, it's just scary. A little too close to home. <laughs> the rifle was leaning against the car unattended for three or four minutes. The Facebook video, which was shot from right here, wasn't the only video shot at the scene. Bellevue police were wearing body cameras, and their video shows how that assault rifle ended up right here. The body camera of Bellevue officer Mark Chapman shows him negotiating with the suspect to surrender. The suspect agrees to talk, but asks the officer to get rid of his rifle. Chapman hands it to Dayton officer Brett Lockman and crosses the street to talk to the suspect. And at some point, it was, uh, the Dayton police officer was waved over to also talk to the suspect and, and to cuff him. And it was at that point that the Dayton police officer left the Bellevue firearm leaning against the car that he was using for protection. A few minutes later, the rifle is secured. The suspect, who had fired a shot in the air, is taken away. Life is back to normal on 5th Street. But today, Dayton police are taking a closer look at the whole scenario. There was a mental mistake that was made in a very tense situation, so we're, we're going to review it internally. We'll speak to the officer, we'll speak to the officer's superiors, and, and we'll figure out uh, what's best to proceed. And figure out how to keep it from happening again. In Dayton, Kentucky, Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Now, police say the suspect in the domestic uh, incident was drunk. He was taken to the hospital where he will stay for three days. Dayton police are still looking at possible charges against him.